what besides the issue of funding and feedback version uh, is needed for patent reforms? Everyone seems to agree that patent reform is needed, but the only things that were discussed were or the end of the well, the short answer to the question is that the Senate bill guaranteed access to the fees by removing, effectively removing the patent office funding from the normal appropriations process. The House bill reversed that and keeps the funding of the PTO in the appropriations process. So the end result, if the, the Senate accepts the House funding provision uh, is that the patent office will only get whatever amount of fee money that the house appropriators are willing to give it and my prediction is that they'll give it 2.1 billion dollars in which case the patent office will lose about a third of its funding something north of 600 million dollars and it desperately needs every one of those dollars. So the Senate got it right, the House got it wrong, and now the Senate's being bullied into accepting the lousy uh, House provision because of fear that if they uh, restore the provision that 95 senators voted in favor of, that the House won't like it. And uh, I think the Senate should get its courage up and face down the House and make the bill work. Hi, uh, Joe Mattal with uh, Senator Powell. I had a question for you, Judge. Um, when you spoke about the Boehner-Rogers um, agreement on, on fee diversion, um, you said, you know, it's great if they pass an appropriate bill, but if they pass a, a CR, you know, that's not going to work. Why do you assume that agreement wouldn't extend to CRs? The, the appropriators also produce the CRs. Why wouldn't they be bound by the commitment to pay to a CR rather than the appropriate bill? Well, the uh, CR would have to have in it a blatant anomaly favoring the patent office and no other agency or department in the entire government. And the pressure of the budget hawks is going to be to say, no, no, no anomalies. Not any agency, not for any reason, no anomalies. Why? Because if you have one, then there's a worry that you've opened the door and other uh, uh, people will fight for an anomaly for some uh, other agency. I, 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 I can't predict the future uh, with confidence any more than anyone else in this room, but I will be absolutely amazed if the CR uh, allows the Patent Office to spend the estimated $2.7 billion do in, in expected fee collections. I think what's going to happen is they're going to be frozen at this year's level, and under this year's level, they've frozen all hiring, They've frozen the speed up program. They've frozen most of the programs to revamp the IT system. So they're dead in the water this year because of the current funding restrictions. And the House budget hawks are going to try to force those same funding restrictions for the next fiscal year that comes up in just weeks. So I don't see any basis for thinking that the House is going to uh, allow an anomaly in the inevitable CR. I, I'd agree it's an anomaly, but you know they did commit to allowing the office to spend above and uh, the appropriated amount if they collect more fees. I, I just, I agree it's different, but they they said they do. <laughs> you know? Well, if they were passing an appropriation, maybe because they did put it in their committee approved appropriations bill, but in the context of a CR, I just don't see there's any way that the House budget hawks are going to agree to an anomaly uh, unless the Senate forces them to, either by restoring the Coburn Amendment uh, or by some other device such as passing a sense of the Senate resolution that the Patent Office has to be fully funded, has to have unlimited access to all its fees. Not a year later, not maybe, not with subsequent permission of the appropriators, but <coughs> automatically, which is effectively what Coburn's amendment did. Judge, where are you on first to file? Should the United States move to a first to file system, whether it's no. bill or something else? I, I think it's a very close call. I, I'm told that the large companies that file abroad routinely already operate as if we had a first to file system and that therefore shifting officially to that system would not change their behavior. They already uh, are doing it. Uh, I Steve, think Steve first, has made this point. first to file has some disadvantages for smaller companies because it 
creates pressure, I think, no one probably can prove it one way or the other, to file earlier and more frequently as the technology is developed, which obviously adds uh, to costs of the companies that are uh, the most vulnerable and uh, the least well financed. Uh, so I think it's a very close call. Uh, but even if uh, first to file on balance is more to the good than the harm, which I, I'm not prepared to say, but even so, uh, the gain there, if there is a gain, isn't worth the risk of wrecking the patent office and the patent system. Look, it, 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 I can guarantee you that if I went into private practice, I could hold up any patent for almost a decade in post-grant proceedings. It would never get to trial in the district court. Now, if patents as a practical matter that have any commercial value can be held up for almost a decade in the patent office before you get the court enforcement proceeding moving forward, then the value of that patent plummets. It's not enforceable for almost a decade. So, and what uh, do you think that's going to do to as investors? Of I'm course, not the incentive in for investment goes down. So, if the gain of first to file, whatever it might be, is marginal, which I think it is, assuming there is a gain, uh, for 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 the uh, harms to the patent system of post-grant review and insufficient funding. It's just not worth it, not even close. It's a big setback, not a step forward. And the idea that it's going to create jobs is a joke. Look, uh, to create jobs, what you need to do is take the 1.2 million patent applications that are on file that have been sitting there for years yeah. and clear that backlog very rapidly and very carefully. That would actually create jobs. But passing the bill is going to slow down the queue, not speed it up. So how can it possibly create jobs?